Okay, you probably can't see it, but right there, there's a cross log that goes back a couple feet, and then they stack these logs in this trout habitat so that trout can go up underneath there and stay away from herons. And it stabilizes the bank. This bank was all collapsing. And now we have some nice clear water. It rained like hell last night. Yes. Yeah. There's no mud in this stream. So they they set this up so that there's a riffle and then a pool and a riffle and a pool. And then some what do you call those? You know, I'm saying fish weir, but there's one right there. That's not really what it is, but there's a structure right here that channels the water in. Oh yeah. I, during high water and keeps the, the stream in the middle. So it keeps digging itself out and having some depth to it so trout can get up here. There you go, a little oxygen. Then you got a deep pool with some big rocks. There goes a fish of some kind just took off. Well, there's a lot of smallmouth that come up here from the bald eagle. Uh -huh. They're like six, eight, ten inches. But I noticed one thing: these these riffles they put in. Uh, before we didn't have a lot of red fins, but now the red fins are just exploding in them riffles. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're just there's thousands of them in there. So that's your bait. Yep. And then. In the spring, when you have a lot of water and snow melt coming down off the mountain, this 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 here structure, the water will go up and then flow like a little waterfall towards the middle of the stream. There's one on either side. And it will keep that channel open, and it'll stop eating away at your your pasture. So that's the idea. Cattle crossing goes in here. And they said the, the limestone helps to moderate the pH of the water. Yeah. Yeah, they put a lot of limestone in here from the quarries. Eventually, everything will be covered up with native plants and it'll look really sharp. 